Uh, it was important for me to be a cartoonist. Uh, that that was my life as a child, uh, and it was at, at a very young age where I decided that that was the career that I had to pursue as well. That would that had to be uh, what I was going to be a cartoonist and animator. That that was that was for me. That was my life. My name is Mark Flood and I run Mark Flood Animations which is a production company in Glasgow specialising in 2D animation and I am also 19 years old. I started my company in April 2014 having run it for about three years prior to that having made little animation films that were shown in festivals around the world. Previously we've done animated shorts, uh, The Freak Next Door which was in the Chicago International Children's Film Festival. And we did another short film called Two Women, One Heart, which won Best Animated Film at the Glasgow Young, Persons, Youth, uh, Young Talent On Screen Film Festival, uh, which was great. We've done commission work, uh, one specifically for the Alliance Healthcare uh, Charity, which is a, an arm of the Scottish Government. Um, and we've done various other commission stuff as well. Hi, my name is Imran J. Smith and I'm one of the main animators for Mark Flood Animations. So how was I introduced to Mark wanting to do this studio thing? Um, basically, I always kind of knew he was that kind of creative person and he wanted to do animation, so I thought it was quite a good idea. He showed me basically how to do the animation in like third to fourth year because he knew how to do it, so we just took some time off like after school. Hi, my name is Thomas Murphy and I work at Mark Flood Animations. Uh, I've been there since September. Uh, I've worked on a few commissions and uh, I'm excited to keep going and to do more with Mark. Mark is a very inspirational guy. He started his own business at the age of 17 while he was still in high school. Uh, dealing with school when I was setting the company up was uh, difficult. Uh, it was it was quite hard to find the balance in that I well I wasn't interested in school in the slightest. I decided from a very young age that it wasn't for me. It was it wasn't going to help me in whatever I wanted to do. It was pretty bad. Like our school wasn't like wasn't supportive at all about animation because art had nothing to do with it. They had art design, just basic stuff. Uh, they had architecture. I mean that's the thing, but they didn't have animation. Uh, the, the reason we uh, set up our company so early in our lives, I suppose, um, just skipping all the sort of higher education and all that, uh, we uh, with a few life experiences really, and that that was what made us uh, sort of really feel the need to take just take action and do it rather than wait. Uh, we had say, uh, well, I had a stroke when I was fourteen, which was um, interesting, uh, and uh, you know, so sort of near-death experience is always something that's gonna you know is it makes you feel like you know your your chance to have, for everything you wanted to do was nearly taken away from you so you know that that was for me especially that that was what made me just go and take everything the minute I could rather than you know procrastinate or anything. To me at first it was mainly just a side thing like it was mainly Mark's kind of ambition and I kind of wanted just the architecture but I kind of like joined in and I thought it was a really good idea. Like once we started working on it, I started getting, getting I started kinda getting influenced by like his work and then like other animators and like animations as well when I was younger I used to watch. I just kinda felt more influenced to do it. I feel these days too much 3D and technology and 3D animation power is used instead of going back to the original, even though it's harder, even though it's more technical, I'd say it's got more feeling in it. Um, and the, you know, the, the sad sort of reality is that in the grand scheme of things, it is dying out. So, uh, you know, that was why we really took the action to set up this company and uh, bring it back, essentially. We're not going to eat you, eh? are we? No, no, we're vegetarians. Sad, really. If you set your mind to things, you can always accomplish it. Well, not always, but mainly. Uh, the advice I would give to anybody is just don't say, uh, don't let anyone swerve you 
or tell you differently if you've got a dream that you want, if you've got a career you want to get, if you, you know, want to even to be a certain type of person, uh, don't let anyone tell you that you can't be that. Uh, inevitably, and you know, in the road to anything really or anything against the status quo, you're going to have people telling you that it's unachievable or you know you're maybe not experienced enough. Uh, whatever, um, don't listen to them. Uh, just keep going to get whatever resources you can get your hands on, uh, and just work hard. Just don't sit there and cry uh, about it. Just um, just do it. Uh, don't let anything or anyone hold you back. You can follow what you want to do and know that it is possible without getting downed by everything around you, by the world as it is, which does happen. But if you've got something you believe in and that you want to do, then you need to follow it. And that's what I've learned working with Mark so far.